Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple tips, tricks on changing the brakes, the front brakes on a 2012 model Subaru Outback. Uh, this is everything we're going to use right here. These are the brakes for the front here. Get them from your local parts store. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of brake cleaner. My impact gun with a 19 millimeter socket for the wheels, lug nuts. For getting the caliper bolts out, I use a 3 8 drive with a 14 millimeter. I like to have a little short extension to get around a brake hose. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. I like to use big channel locks, some kind of pliers. That way I can press the caliper pistons in so I can get the new pads to fit. Stick around, show you how to do it. All right, when I jack, anytime I jack up a vehicle, I try to have something other than just the jack, the jack itself holding it up. So I want to use this stand here. Uh, I jacked it up, put the stand under it, and lowered it down. I then leave the jack there. That way I have two points of contact and two supports. That way two is one, one is none there. Uh, one were to fail, the other would catch it. All right, we got to get the calipers off. We got two caliper bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. I use a 14 millimeter with a short extension just to get around this brake hose. All right, then the brake pads are here. I leave this bracket on, it holds the pads, and actually it's the caliper mount. I'll leave that on. I'll set the caliper up out the way. Just try not to get that hose too tight. And then slide the pads out. Check them out a little bit. These don't look terrible, but we're gonna go ahead and change them anyway. Then one thing also, when I had the pads off and the wheel off, I want to look at my disc and my rotors here and see if they got bad grooves or anything. If they were real bad, we'd go ahead and uh, take them off and get them refinished or replaced. These look good. We're not going to worry about resurfacing them. Just for demonstration, we'll show you what a new pad looks like here on the left, how thick it is, and then this is the used pad. I'd say we're got maybe half maybe three-eighths life left we're not totally done but we're here we're gonna go ahead and change them uh, and on this one there's different you got to put the right one on the right side it looks like uh, so i just lay it flat on the ground and then mix it match it up if you'll notice this one has this spring clip here on the left side when it's facing down this one has it on the right the one i took off just has it on the right as well so line them up make sure i'm putting the right one on this other set here they're both universal they could go on either side so just match it up first and then on this caliper here i like to put an old one up here on it so it's gonna and then i'm gonna use some big channel locks and we're gonna press down on this caliper uh, also before I do this, I pop the hood and I take the brake fluid reservoir cap off just so it has somewhere to bleed back into and bubble. I don't want to do it too fast because if you do, you can potentially bubble it out over top of that reservoir up there. Uh, but I'll do this. And while I'm doing this, I'll have somebody check. I'll either check or I'll, you can have somebody else look at it and make sure you're not going too fast and bubbling out the reservoir. Just take it and squeeze ever so slowly. You don't need to get in a hurry. Just keep constant pressure on and it'll suck it in. Do it on both sides. Kind of stair-step it. Do a little bit. 
All right, we've got them, got the caliper sucked all the way in. Now it's time to put the new pads on. Put this brake lubricant on. Uh, like put it on the back. One with the clip goes on the outside. Apply some of this. It's supposed to help with vibration and squeaking. Spread it out a little bit. Then make sure you don't touch the rotors with your greasy hands or with this lubricant. Put the lubricant on the back side of this one before I put it in. Again, try not to touch the rotor or the the brake pad with this greasy hand or with that lubricant. Fold around like this and slide it in. All right, they're in tight. Time to take the caliper. Install it back over. Should slide right on. If it doesn't, then maybe you need to tighten them calipers up or tighten them pistons up, squeeze them pistons in a little bit. Set it in like that. Put your bolts back in. Rub my finger on them threads a little bit with that lubricant that I got. Just kind of help as an anti-seize. Tighten it back up. 14 millimeter. That's good to go. Put the jacket back up, put the tire on it, and you're done. Before you drive away, crank the vehicle up and make sure you press, your brake, press the brakes several times until you actually start feeling resistance against the pedal. Initially, when you do this, the pedal will probably go all the way to the Okay, floor. that's how you change brakes on a 2012 Subaru Outback. Thanks for watching. Stick around, see what we get into next.